Hello, this is AI Thinker. In my hand, it is AI Thinker's open source hardware AI Pi Eyes. This is a product that open source including the circuit design diagram and source codes. From now on, everyone can use AI Pi Eyes to any DIY smart hardware. AI Thinker open source team uses AI Pi Eyes to make an image that can be displayed on the screen. Today and next 3 days weather forecast desktop, weather station demo. This is a very simple weather station demo. Tap the on-screen Wi-Fi icon. Enter the correct Wi-Fi name and password. You can get the weather conditions for today and the next three days. Just prepare a small and pie eyes. And a 240 by 320 resolution touch screen. Then there are application development engineers to work. Then let's talk about the development of the AI Pi Eyes weather station. First of all, a process we developed has about four steps. The first is the production of the interface. The second is to transplant it to a display with a 3.5 inch screen. The third is a function of the distribution network. The last one is a function of automation. Firstly, the GUI guider host computer used in the production of the interface. Complete a production of this item. Then it shows. If it is displayed, it is the above interface. Show this time. In the end, it is done here in the distribution network. Then implement the logic by the way. First look at a design of the interface. There are two main interfaces. One is a monitor of the main home page. And there will be a Wi-Fi connection on the monitor. Then there's the time, then a picture of the weather, then temperature, location. Then the second interface is displayed with an IP address. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password in the two input boxes respectively. There is also a button click OK. This will put the Wi-Fi password just entered into the input box. Output to Wi-Fi. Confirm connection. Then connect to the manual function. It will automatically jump to the home page. Let's run it and see. What is running on the upper computer is just a very basic structure and some architectures without those automations. The automated architecture to port through our code. After completing this step, you can port your code to AI Pi Eyes. Find the project we just made. It is to transplant these two folders into a UI interface. Then these two folders are migrated here. Then we can start pasting. Then let's make a program, the terminal application we just ported. The interface has been copied to project folder. In the project, just put this file in the project. Add these. You just import all the files. Then the automation of this quake is over. Then we in the main function, put these. Quote these two header files. Then create a UI variable globally. After that, put UI settings. Set its UI. Then compile and download. To be careful of, it may not compile at first. Because you might find, there will be a situation where the header file is not found. Then in, there will be a file like this in the root directory of the project. Quakelist.txt file. Just a path of an interface of our UI. Just added it. Check it out. Then we did some work on this project. Simple tutorial. Teach everyone how to use, how to clone. Here is clone. Clone is to clone this path under this branch. Then you can do some environment construction. After the build is complete, we can directly compile the project and it will be okay. The desktop weather station demo produced this time, only using AI Pi Eyes as Wi Fi, compatible with external display. Is this the only powerful DIY attribute of AI Pi Eyes? Don't blink, it also supports.
Among these rich peripheral interfaces, we can perform many different functions autonomously. Required hardware items, such as automatic flushing toilet temperature sensor alarm, robot vacuums and a variety of DIY projects. AI Thinkers Open Source Team Different product demos were made using AI PyEyes. What kind of product demo do you expect AI PyEyes to produce? Welcome to Leave a Message. More open source information about AI PyEyes. Friends please get it yourself in the comment area. That's all for today's introduction of AI PyEyes. Goodbye. See you next time.